What is up everybody, Eric here from Soundcast Studios. So I've recently been talking about the differences between the Tascam Model 24 and the Soundcraft 22 MTK Mixer. One of the reasons I went back to the Tascam Model 24 is that the Tascam has a control room apart from having the main outs. This means that the PFL switches act as solo buttons. On the Soundcraft Mixer, this isn't the case. The PFL switches on the Soundcraft only affect the headphone output. So I did manage to find a workaround. So I got a TRS Y splitter cable, which is splitting the stereo signal into two mono sources. So I'm routing that into the Mackie passive big knob. And I'm from the big knob, my two outputs are my studio monitors and my headphones. So now whenever I select the monitor select switch, it's switching between my headphones and my studio monitors. This allows me to use the PFL switch similarly to the Tascam Model 24. As you can see here, whenever I turn on the PFL switch, it now solos the track. Solo the vocals. So it is a bit of a workaround and you need to extra pieces of gear to make it work. But in a pinch, it, this could be the reason that you pick this mixer over since there is sort of a way to get it to work like the Tascam mixer. So that's going to be the end of this video. Just a quick video showcasing an idea I had. It might be helpful to you. It might be not. But I thought uh, it could be helpful to someone. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll respond to the best of my ability. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.